Hi there, I'm meteorologist Erica Grow with your weather webcast for usatoday.com. We have a storm system moving through the Gulf Coast states. It's going to bring rain, even some thunderstorms. There's the potential for some isolated severe weather, but that's not the main threat. Just looking at rain and some pockets of heavier rain and thunderstorm activity with this system. The same storm system on the northern side will bring some snow and some mixed wintry precipitation, so some icy spots to parts of the Midwest as well, and maybe even into parts of the southeast. You'll see that on our model forecast as well. The Pineapple Express is back in the southwest, that subtropical jet stream moving back into places like LA, maybe even Phoenix later on as we head into the work week. And showers will return to the Pacific Northwest as well. So here's storm system number one on our model. This is what I was talking about that's going to bring the rain and thunderstorms for most of the southeast during the day on Sunday. And you can see a little bit of pink there in Arkansas and Missouri, indicating the potential for some freezing rain or sleet. With the system. Also, a few light snow showers through portions of the Rockies, but here comes that storm system that'll bring rain to LA, sneaking into Arizona, and Potentially, as I mentioned before, getting into Phoenix before we get through the work week. But some rain is likely in Vegas. Also, look in the Pacific Northwest. There will be rain in places like Seattle and Portland from time to time during the day. The same storm system bringing the uh, sleet and freezing rain potential to Arkansas and Missouri early in the day on Sunday will bring that same potential to the Ohio River Valley and up into portions of the Midwest close to the Great Lakes states late in the day on Sunday. This system will head further to the east and possibly bring some trouble for the morning commute to parts of the I-95 corridor, but that's not the issue on Sunday. Forecast for Sunday for Portland, 48 degrees with some showers. think you might not get away with a completely dry day in Seattle, also reaching a high of 48 degrees. And here's that uh, subtropical moisture, 65 degrees in L.A. with showers pretty much on and off throughout the day. Maybe a stray shower in Phoenix, but most of the rain will be to the north of you. And a high of 58 degrees in Vegas with that rain falling. So it's going to be a pretty unsettled and nasty day. And this is just the beginning of that return of the subtropical jet. It's going to be cold and dry in the Upper Plains, but this is, of course, nothing unusually cold for you. A high of 12 in Bismarck and 14 in Pierre. Uh, 27 degrees in North Platte, 30 in Chicago, 39 in Denver, and you might see a quick snowflake or two in Denver as well. Cold with the rain falling in Dallas, a high of 46 degrees, 53 in Houston. The rain will start to move to the east and out of your backyard as we head later on into the day. 54 in Jackson, 60 in New Orleans. You might even hear a rumble of thunder in the Big Easy before the day is done. Atlanta, 45 degrees, a cold rain falling, but in Jacksonville, pretty likely that you'll see a thunderstorm with a high of 65 degrees. Probably a chance for a thunderstorm in Tallahassee as well. Savannah, Georgia, you might see a thunderstorm. And we could see some rain arrive late in Charleston, but most of the day is dry with a high of 59 degrees. Lexington, Lexington look for a high of 41 with some scattered showers. St. Louis, you'll see some snow arriving late in the day, a high of only 34 degrees. And the cold air remains in place throughout New England, a high of 24 in Burlington, 31 in Buffalo, 30 31 in Boston as well, and 35 for your high in New York City. That's a look at your weather webcast. I'm meteorologist Erica Groh.